everybody, we're reading A Charlie Brown's Christmas in spring. Because why not? And make sure you like and be our friend. Hit the subscribe button. So here we go. Oh, I love the peanuts. It's my favorite. Oh, look what they're doing there. Ice skating. It's the most magical time of the year. Christmas is coming. The air is crisp and cold. Children are ice skating and having a good time. Look at Snoopy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, gosh. And Sally and everybody. And then the sound of Christmas carols filled the air and everyone's in the holiday spirit. Well, almost everyone. Oh, the whole gang is here. There's Charlie Brown. I think there must be something wrong with me. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy, said Charlie Brown. I like getting presents, sending cards, decorating trees, and all that, but I always end up feeling sad. Charlie Brown, you're the only person I know that can take a wonderful season like Christmas and turn it into a problem, Linus said, sucking his thumb and holding his blue blanket. Maybe Lucy's right. All of Charlie Brown's in the world, you're the Charlie Brown ass. Oh, well, that's me. I'm just, just Charlie Brown. Psychiatric help, five cents. Lucy, the doctor is real in. Charlie Brown decides to talk to Lucy. She gives really good advice and it only costs five cents. I just don't understand Christmas, Lucy. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. You need to get involved in a real Christmas project. How would you like to be the director of our Christmas play, said Lucy. Me? A director? That's for Sir Herbert Sneakies. And he writes wonderful books like Jack the Bear and Golden Hair. Of course he does. But Charlie Brown, you can be our director. Oh, I don't know anything about directing, but it sounds exciting. Okay. I'll meet you at the school auditorium. Great, Charlie Brown. I knew you would have the Christmas spirit in you. On his way to the auditorium, Charlie Brown spots his dog Snoopy carrying a box of Christmas ornaments and lights. He watches as Snoopy carefully decorates his doghouse with lights and glitter and stars and all kinds of wonderful things. Snoopy has entered a contest to win money for the best neighborhood Christmas lights and display. My own dog has gone commercial, says Charlie Brown and groans. Oh, I can't stand it. Is Christmas so commercial? Sell, sell, sell. Pay me, pay me, buy me, buy me. Okay, buy Jack the Beer and Golden Hair's book by Sir Herbert Sneakies. Buy, buy, buy. <laughs> support, support, support. Give us your generous donations. Everybody wants money. Next, Charlie Brown is stopped by Sister Sally. Will you help me write a letter to Santa Claus, Charlie Brown? Dear Santa Claus, how have you been? I've been extra good this year, so I have a very long list of presents, but you can make it easy on yourself. Just send money. How about 10s and 20s? <laughs> if anyone likes to donate to us, PayPal friends and family, petcarebuddies at gmail.com. We always use it for the podcast and paying our voiceover actors who are studying to become voiceover actors on TV. When Charlie Brown finally arrives at the auditorium, the cast is waiting for him. Okay, let's have quiet, everybody. He announces, places, everybody. Action. But no one listens to him. Shorter starts playing the piano. Bam, 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 bam. Snoopy on the guitar. Do, do, do. Lionel on this. Oh, nobody cares that Charlie Brown is directing. Nobody cares about the play. They just want to dance. Bam, bam, bam. Ba -do, boop, boop, ba -do, boop, 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 boop. But Charlie Brown films worse. All wrong. Oh, nobody's listening to me. Cut, 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 cut. Lucy tries to make him feel better. Well, everybody knows Christmas is that time of the year for people to buy stuff, she says. This is the one play that's going to be different. We need something on the set. Proper mood. We need a Christmas tree. Hmm. Do you think that that's what will do it? A Christmas tree? That, yeah, sure. Christmas trees, stockings, um, lights, ornaments, presents. Yeah, that's all Christmas stuff. That's commercial. That's commercial stuff. That's commercial. I want people to get in the spirit of giving and being kind and nice to each other. That's it, Lucy exclaims. We need a Christmas tree. A great, big, shiny, aluminum tree. You go get the tree, Charlie Brown. Yeah, Charlie Brown, get the tree. I'll take Linus with me then. The rest of you can practice your lines. Oh, I'm so excited about the tree, Charlie Brown. Get the biggest aluminum tree you can find. Maybe painted pink. Aluminum, what happened to the green fern kind? Well, the aluminum will save trees being cut down. Well, aluminum is bad for the, the um, environment. Oh, pink aluminum. So when Charlie Brown and Linus arrive at the Christmas tree lot, there's so many trees. Oh, they're all fake and plastic. They're plastic. Some are aluminum. Some are painted different colors. Some are even polka dots. 
Oh, gosh. Lionel knocks on one of the lemon trees. Knock, knock. Who's there? He wonders aloud. Meanwhile, Charlie Brown is staring and feeling sad again. None of the trees feel right to him. These trees just aren't real. They're just pink, and that's just way, way too commercial for Christmas. Is this what Christmas is really about? Oh, it's kind of fun. I like this color. Hot pink. Hot lips pinks. Hot fuchsia. My mom will like it. Oh, then Charlie Brown sees it. This is the tree. This is the tree. Oh, it's so cute. A tiny, teeny, tiny green tree. This tree seems to need a home. Oh, gosh. I don't know, Charlie Brown, Linus says. This doesn't seem to fit the modern spirit. It's tiny and the leaves and needles are falling off. There's going to be nothing left of that tree. I won't even hold one Christmas ornament. Oh, I like it, said Charlie Brown. It is definitely alive and so cute and little. Look at it. It just needs some love and TLC. It sure does. I hope those few pine needles left on the tree will be able to uh, let anyone know there's a tree around. And so small, you can barely know it's there. Well, I like it. It feels great. I'm really happy. Let's put it on the piano. Charlie Brown is still smiling when he returns to the auditorium. He gently places the tree on Schroeder's piano. Here, Schroeder. We're back! Everyone rushes over to see the tree. They're shocked and disappointed at Charlie Brown's choice. You were supposed to get a good tree, Lucy declares. Can't you even tell a good tree from a poor tree? What kind of tree is that? It's like a leaf. It's not even a tree. It's like a twig and it's shedding all over the place. It's so small and so skinny and no ornaments can go on top of it. <laughs> oh, Charlie Brown, you're a disappointment. <laughs> Everybody starts to laugh at Charlie Brown and his little tree. Oh, you're so silly. You can't even get a tree. Charlie Brown feels sadder. He turns to Linus. I guess you're right. I should have picked this. I shouldn't have picked this little tree. I really didn't know what Christmas is all about. He paused and looked around. Is there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? He cries. I thought Christmas was about enjoying each other and friendship, but everybody just wants presents and gifts and money. Well, so do I. I love money, don't you? Yeah, money's great. Can buy a big mansion if you have some money. Oh um, yeah, money's cool. To a surprise, it is Linus who answers. Sure, Charlie Brown. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. He walks to the center of the stage and says, Lights, please. Somebody dims the lights in the auditorium and puts a single spotlight on Linus. In a clear voice, Linus begins to speak. Linus, <coughs> pay attention. Everybody listening? Sure, Linus. And then there were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And the angel of the Lord came upon them and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy. For unto you is born this day a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And there was the angel of multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God, peace on earth, and goodwill to men. Everyone was quiet as Linus finished. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown, he said. Uh, what did you say? Um, no presents, no tree. Oh, praising God and saying glory to God, peace on earth, and goodwill to men. Yeah, goodwill to men, peace on earth. Well, no one gets along, not even my sister, not even us. How can we get along? Hmm. Well, let's try. Let's let's honor our differences. I don't know. Let's enjoy the story! Charlie Brown picks up his little tree and steps outside. He looks up at the dark sky full of twinkling stars. He finally feels happy deep inside, the way Christmas is supposed to make you feel. Linus is right. He says to himself, I'm not going to let everyone else's greed spoil my Christmas. I'll take this little tree home and decorate it and show everyone it will really work for our play. I love this little tree. It's so cute. It's enjoyable. And it was affordable. <laughs> the other trees were not. Charlie Brown passed by Snoopy's fully decorated doghouse. Boom, 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 boom. Snoopy won first prize. He takes a shiny red ornament off the doghouse and hangs it on the little tree. But the ornament is too heavy. Ker-plunk. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez, I killed it. Everything I touch gets run. Oh, gosh, look what I did to the tree. He he was so sad that he hurt the little tree. Oh, I'm just not strong enough to hold this ornament. Oh, gosh, Snoopy won first place. And Charlie Brown ruined his little tree. After Charlie Brown leaves and sad and crying, the others find the tree. I never thought it was such a bad little tree, Linda says. He wraps his little blanket around the tree, giving it some port at all really all it needs is a little love without saying a word the other kids began taking decorations off of snoopy's doghouse and putting them on the tree here the blanket will hold it and it'll be strong here let's try some of these lights let's try some of these ornaments 
give the tree a little love. That's all it needs, just a little TLC, a little red, a little green, a little lights, a little ornaments. It'll be jiffy in no time. It doesn't take long for them to transform the little tree into something magical. <gasps> wow, the tree is so cool looking. Look at it now. It just needed love. It just needed TLC. When Charlie Brown returns it a few minutes later, you can scarcely believe his eyes. First, he looks at Snoopy's bare doghouse, then at the beautiful tree. What's going on here, he asks. Then he looks at his friends. Their faces are all shining with joy. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> What'd you guys do? You took off all the decorations off of my dog Snoopy's house? Where'd you put them? Look, Charlie Brown. Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. And before Charlie Brown said a word, they start to sing Christmas carols, and even Snoopy's happy. Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. Good Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Holidays. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for watching and being our friend. May you have all the presents in the entire world that you ever need and health and wholeness and all the good things. This is going to be the best Christmas ever because I have so many friends subscribing and liking. Thanks, everyone. We love you. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and all the holidays you celebrate. Merry Christmas. Wahoo, la, 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 la. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Thanks.